The objective is to compare decimal fractions to the thousandths using like units and express comparisons with greater than, less than, or equal to. How would you compare these numbers? Let's use a place value chart to help us. Place our first number into the place value chart. Place our other number into the place value chart. We're comparing zero ones, zero tenths, and then this number has a hundred, whereas this number does not. Therefore, 1 is bigger than 0. If we read this whole thing here, this is 17 thousandths is greater than 7 thousandths. Sometimes reading those numbers out loud can help us compare them. Also, in other instances, using a place value chart to compare those digits helps us compare those numbers as well. Here we are comparing two fractions. Read this first fraction. 299 thousandths. And the other one here is 3 tenths. Let's use a place value chart for each of those numbers. 299 thousandths. Well, that can be written as 299 with a zero there at the beginning. 3 tenths. We can write that into our place value chart. And then we're comparing them again. Zero ones, two tenths, three tenths. Oh, three tenths is larger. We know that 299 thousandths then is less than three tenths. And in this instance, we change them both to decimal numbers to be able to compare them. Okay, go ahead and see if you can try this out. What would you write for that first decimal? And how would we write out 7 tenths? So here we're comparing 0 with 0, 7 with 7, and we can write additional places here. We can rewrite 7 tenths as 700 thousandths. So 7 0, and then 5 is bigger than 0. Therefore, 705 thousandths is greater than 7 tenths. Is that what you got? Again, so what we did is that we wrote the decimal equivalents for each of those to more easily compare them. Set up a place value chart to be able to write out these decimal numbers here, to be able to compare them. Pause the video while you do your work. There's the number to the left there. And then so we compare them place by place. Both have ones in the tens place, fives in the ones place. So we continue is in the tenths place, and then we have a zero in the hundredths versus a one. The zero is less than one. Therefore, 15 and 203 thousandths is less than 15 and 21 hundredths. Check over your work. Here's another type of problem that you can have, where it is you're ordering a list of numbers, in this case from least to greatest, from smallest to largest. One of the most common mistakes is to accidentally go in the wrong direction. One of the ways that I like to work through these types of problems is to write out the numbers and to write out the numbers vertically so that we're lining up their places. So all the tenths place are lined up, the hundredths place are lined up, and the thousandths place are lined up as well. When we look at it there, then, when we're going from least to greatest, the smallest of the, we, all the ones place are the same, of 4, 0, 1, and 5 is the 0. So that number is first. 
next, we have a 1 versus a 4 and a 5. So the 1 is next, and that number is next. And then we have our other two numbers that we can write in there. So I went through there, and I ordered those decimals from least to the greatest. It is a good idea to read that over one more time to yourself to make sure that you have ordered those correctly. 4 is less than 5. Here is one for you to try. You may want to line them up to be able to help you. It looks like, pause the video while you do your work. It looks like we have two numbers that are 27 and two numbers that are 29. Between the two numbers that are 27, one is 27 and 5 thousandths, and the other one is 27.09. Okay, and then so 5 thousandths, 5 there is less because we're comparing 0 with 9. Next, we have those two 29 and 4 hundredths versus 29 and 5 tenths. 29 and 4 hundredths would come next. And finally, it would be 29 and 5 tenths. Look over your work. One last problem. This is ordering from greatest to least. 3, 3, and 3. 1, 0, and 5. 1 out of 1, 0, and 5 in the tenths place, which is the largest? 3 and 5 tenths. What comes next? 1 versus a 0. 1 is bigger than 0. So 3 and 17 hundredths comes next. And then finally, 3 and 9 thousandths. So those places matter as you are ordering and comparing numbers.